You're watching the Black Wonder Channel, where we discuss current events, geopolitics, and much more. We are approaching the 24-hour mark since Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Trump in Pennsylvania. The accused of pulling the trigger has been identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Now, investigators say Crooks shot at former President Trump from a nearby rooftop outside of the rally security perimeter. Several witnesses claim that they saw that suspect climbing to the roof and even alerted law enforcement. But Trump was not removed from the stage before gunfire started. This is where we were last night in the hours just after the shooting. It was a much similar scene. Barricades here blocking off the public from going too close. And you can see the fences and signage, which have all gone up, alerting the public of these boundaries as well. ABC News is also reporting that President Biden and former President Trump are urging their staffers to avoid coming into their D.C. campaign offices out of an abundance of caution. So let's talk about the president. President Biden spoke earlier this afternoon saying he is great. Grateful Mr. Trump is doing well. There is no place in America for this kind of violence or any violence for that matter. An assassination attempt is contrary to everything we stand for as a, as a nation. Everything. It's not who we are as a nation. It's not America. And we cannot allow this to happen. The district has seen its share of political violence in recent years, including the attack on the Capitol on January 6, 2021. On that day, Capitol Police had to protect members of Congress as well as the vice president from an angry mob. Based on his experience, Sun says there are serious questions to be asked about how the alleged shooter Thomas Crook was able to set up as a sniper so close to the former president, especially when the Secret Service counter sniper teams were in place. They're up there looking they have the high powered binoculars. Um, they're up there looking specifically for any suspicious activity on, on rooftops. I've done five inaugurations. I can tell you whenever we have a presidential speech or the swearing in of a president on the west front of the Capitol or an inaugural uh, parade, we have people on every single rooftop. Today's post reads in part, we will fear not, but instead remain resilient in our faith and defiant in the face of wickedness. Our love goes out to the other victims and their families. We pray for the recovery of those who are wounded and hold in our hearts the memory of the citizen who was so horribly killed. Now, three people were injured during the assassination attempt. 50-year-old Corey Comparatore was killed, and those who knew him say that he dedicated his life to helping others. He served as a volunteer firefighter. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro called him a hero. 57-year-old David Dutch and 74-year-old James Copenhaver were also injured at the rally. All of their conditions are stable. Thank you for watching the Black Wonder Channel. If you found value in our content, Please like, subscribe, and share.